It came. What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today I have my very first international plant order. Really excited. I really have um, a spelling of my last name that I've never actually seen before, so that's fun. I ordered these right at the beginning of a global pandemic. For some reason, I don't know, I was stress shopping, I got my stimulus check, I, I just made I, I made I made some deci decisions were made um, so they did not mail this out to me until last week and I ordered this in April As I have no idea how the plants did it has been extremely hot this is a pretty small box so there's also that um, and uh, yeah so we're gonna open we're gonna see how it goes and uh, go through this together so I got these from new life tropicals and they are out of Thailand. And if you look up reviews of them, there are a lot of mixed ones. Um, some people have really good experiences, other people have had really bad experiences. Um, I gotta say that from when they shipped these to now, it hasn't been that long. It's only been about eight or nine days, so that's not too bad. And they definitely had to upgrade their shipping because um, the stuff with COVID was making airmail not work well. So they ended up, um, this landed in Florida last night and still got here to me today. So they definitely paid for some upgraded shipping. Okay, so this right here should be the Monstera Carstinianum, which is the species Peru. I actually ordered this because, oh, this is cool because they're like little plant tags too. That's neat. So I actually ordered this because I had a cutting of this that didn't do so well. It has since, if you um, see my plant tour, whenever that goes up before or after this, you'll see that it actually did come back to life. But uh, it'll be nice to have a bigger piece of the plant, assuming it did okay. I'm so excited. Okay, it's alive. It's alive. Got it. Cool Thai newspaper here. One yellow leaf. Couple yellow leaves, no big deal. Okay. So it definitely looks like it's seen better days, but it is alive. Some of these leaves actually look quite good. Let's check it out. It's still a little bit damp, but not too damp, so that's good. Hopefully there's no root rot. That makes me a little nervous. I think this will be fine. You guys can see. They smell weird. Okay, so I'm gonna put, obviously, these in water to recuperate from the travel, and hopefully Hopefully it lives. So that is the Monstera Peru. Okay, so here is the one I was the most excited about. This is the Philodendron atabatoense, or atabatoense. Not sure if you pronounce the E on that. Okay. I don't think it's dead. Oh, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look totally dead. Well. This is definitely going to need a little bit of rehab. The uh, leaf is broken there. Okay, definitely see some healthy roots on this, so that makes me super happy. Even if all the leaves fall off and I just have a node, I can work with that. Not preferable, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, yeah. See some nice healthy roots right there. So, uh, looking a little sad, but that is the Philodendron atabatoense, atabapoense, atabat, atabato. All right, that's two. Okay, so here is the Philodendron Burly Max, Burly Marks Splash. Hey, they did get all the plants in here, so that's pretty cool. Okay, ooh. 
Uh, okay. Okay, so again, a little bit of leaf damage. This is the variegated version of the philodendron burly marks, obviously. Um, not the most variegated that I've seen. Oh yeah, good roots on this one, so this will be just fine. Yeah. See? Okay, so let's just hope for some more variegation because this one doesn't have very much. So here is a Hoya. And this is a Hoya sigillatus. Please be alive. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty. Oh, this looks real bummed out. Oh, man. Right, this one doesn't look super great in the root zone either. It doesn't really even look rooted. Are these roots or moss? Oh, maybe those are roots. Yeah, this one looks pretty rough. These are like very thin. I th I think I can probably salvage some of this, but this one, <laughs> this looks definitely the worst out of everything. The leaves are very thin and all of these vines are dried out and the leaves and the roots look pretty rough. That is a bummer. You know, I would have thought that the Hoya would have traveled a little better than some of the philodendrons. So. I was wrong. And here is the last one. This one feels pretty dry, so hopefully it's alive. This is a Philodendron Ring of Fire. And I have always wanted one of these for some reason. Ooh, look at that half moon leaf that's probably not going to make it, but whew, look at that. That is gorge. Ooh, that one looks nice. Come on, roots. This is definitely the longest I have ever waited for anything, I think, in the mail in my whole life. Okay, not totally dry, so that's cool. Oh yeah, great roots on this one. Look at that. Beauty. This one's gonna be just fine, hopefully. <laughs> Look at that leaf. Yes, I ordered this on April 16th. Today is July 29th. So all of these plants all together were $126 US and I paid $58 in shipping. And I am, I do believe that they probably spent more than that in shipping because, um, because of everything that's happened. So all in all, um, not too bad for my first import order. It could be a lot worse. We will see how these guys rehab. I think this will be the one that I stress about the most because I've really wanted one of these for a long time. So hopefully it does okay. Have you guys ever ordered from New Life Tropicals? If you have, let me know your experience down below. Um, so far, this wasn't too bad. I think once things calm down a little bit, I would probably order from them again. Um, and maybe I would get like three plants at a time um, just to not crowd the box because they're clearly trying to get it in as small of a box as they can. Um, but overall, eh, not too bad, not too bad. I don't really have anything to compare it to because I've never imported plants before. So maybe you guys can let me know how this looks in comparison to your orders from overseas and uh, perhaps make me feel better or worse about this. Okay, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.